G'day viewers, this is uh, a video about silver and possible palladium. Both of these items have silver and some have palladium and I need to soak the MLCCs in hydrochloric acid to remove the caps on the end and so what I'm going to, need to do is separate all of the silver capacitors from the MLCCs so I'm going to start, there's about a kilo there I think or was it half a kilo, I can't remember we'll give it a quick weigh up yeah almost a kilo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate them I'm going to pour them all into this dish and then the MLCCs I'll put into this beaker and then I can add some hydrochloric acid to it. It's going to be a tedious job. So to the person who sent these, I know you're going to watch this video. In the future, can we please have the MLCC separately? It's probably going to take me half an hour to an hour or so now to separate all this. And I'll come back when I've done that so we can continue the process. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the MLCCs to drain, I've got them in a sieve draining. I'm going to start burning some of these blue silver capacitors. Same thing, I just put... A small amount on the base, I don't want to put too much in there, I'll put a bit more, because you need to make sure that the oxygen gets to them, if you do a big batch at the bottom, they don't get enough oxygen, push that in, so I'll burn that, and then once they're completely burnt, I'll add, I'll probably be able to add that last pile in there, and by that time I'll be ready to put the MLCCs in. Okay, so the blue silver capacitors have cooled down now and they can go in the dolly pot. And what I'm thinking is the MLC MLCCs are still cooking and I still haven't even finished putting some in the tin. So I might as well just treat these separately. Not for any other reason other than that these are ready and they're not. Otherwise they could be done together. But they're not, so I'll just, uh, I'll treat these, I'll treat the MLCs separately and that way I can carry on with this now instead of waiting. So I'll put these in the dolly pot and start smashing it up. Now that they've been through the dolly pot, you can see all these circular discs that are left behind. I'm guessing, because I've not done these before, I'm guessing that that's where the silver is. And most of this chunky stuff should be silver. And I'm guessing that anything that's in there now is just the steel legs and the powdered ceramic. But I'll do a gravity separation anyway in case there's any silver in there. I don't know, maybe where it joined to the legs. I don't know. But just in case there's silver in there, I'll keep all the heavy stuff, wash away all the ceramic, and treat it along with this. But I'm going to put this in the dolly pot again and see if I can break it up any more. That might be the best it gets. Okay, so after doing a gravity separation on these blue silver capacitors to remove all the um, powdered ceramic, I'm left with this coarse material, which I'm now, and I've uh, I used a garden hose to do the gravity separation, but I have thoroughly rinsed all the sed sediment in distilled water to remove all the chlorinated water. I'm now going to put this into a beaker with some more distilled water and some nitric acid to dissolve the silver. This is the solution from the uh, blue silver capacitors. I've got no idea what that white stuff is. I've even seen on another channel where they had the same precipitate and I don't know what it is. What I do know is it's not silver because I've left it in the sunlight and it didn't go purple. 
didn't discolour at all. If that was silver, that would go purple. What I'm going to do now is filter off the blue solution and there should be silver in that solution. Well, I put the hydrochloric acid in the, the solution with the blue silver capacitors and I didn't get much of a reaction. Any times I've seen this done on videos, they get a really white cloudy response straight away. I thought I was recording as I put it in there. There was a really nice light blue solution. And I poured the hydrochloric acid in and didn't see much at all. Uh, there will be some silver in there, it'll settle out, but there was nothing, no reaction. It's a shame I wasn't recording. I thought I had, I thought I hit the button. So now I'm just going to wait and see what settles. Okay, viewers, I am stumped. Um, there's nothing has fallen out of this solution. There's no silver. I know it looks a little light blue at the bottom there. It doesn't appear to be sediment. I don't know if it is or not. If it does settle out, I'll let you know in the future, but... I'm going to call this a failed attempt. Um, I'm going to do my homework and see if I did something wrong. And the worst thing is this is for someone else, not me. But I have a, a collection of my own, which I think is even more than what the, this particular person sent me. And that's fine by me. I'm going to redo the whole thing again with my collection and this time instead of using HCL to drop the silver I'm going to use salt water the white precipitant that we saw at the base earlier definitely was not silver I know that for a fact um, when it's left in the daylight and sunlight it goes purple now that solution did not go purple and after I filtered off all the blue liquid, I could see that it was all ceramic residue, the heavy ceramic residue that didn't go away with a gravity separation. I'll give you an example of what the silver should look like. This is from the Gold Corner BGAs. I only did this half an hour ago, and it's already started going purple from the sunlight. So I know that the white ceramic, the white residue that was at the base of this beaker originally is definitely not silver. Um, when I revisit this, I will make another video revisiting when I do my batch. You'll see exactly the same thing again. And I'll prove it to you then, I'll show you. I'll leave it out in the direct sun after I filter off the, the liquid and you'll see there's no change. Um, if I don't get any silver after using salt water, then who knows. Um, if anybody out there can tell me from what I've done, if they know of anything I've done wrong, please tell me. Let me know. I mean, I'm always willing to learn. I've not done these before. I just know the, the method that needs doing. It's, it's, there's a lot of things I haven't done before, but it's pretty much the same system. Um, if, if you know I've done something wrong, tell me, by all means. Um, in the meantime, it's getting dark here now, so I can't do much more today. I'm going to go and scour YouTube for videos and see if I can see what other people have done. But I know time and time again it's mentioned that you get silver from those blue capacitors, and I didn't get anything. Not even a tiny bit, unless this blue settles out to be silver, which I can't see it. So, I don't know. I'll leave it sitting overnight. Maybe there'll be something tomorrow. So, I'm going to leave this here for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm happy to post my mistakes. I'm happy to post fails. As I've said many times before in my videos, I keep it real. I don't dodgy things up. If I don't get anything, I'll tell you. It's. Um... So, yeah, I'll leave it there for now, and tomorrow, or the next day, hopefully tomorrow, um, I'll get around to starting my batch and see if I can get a better result. Thanks for watching. 
please comment subscribe like the whole lot and i'll see you on the next video bye